Hey guys, my name is Brody. I'm from Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs right here on YouTube. The man himself. The man himself, right here. Diesel Weasel. He's a weasel named Diesel. All right, let's get out of here. Hopefully I can make my, uh, my U-turn here. All the paperwork is all ready to go. The border is expecting me. Oh boy. So this is where we spent our weekend. Fancy, eh? Very fancy. I want a bus like that. That would be so cool. All right, Dexter, Michigan. We're about in, uh, we're about 45 minutes from the border with Canada. As soon as we get ourselves back on the highway, let's turn our lights on for safety. Just in case we hit a rainstorm, people will be able to see me through the water. And just a better chance at seeing me in, in general, even if it's sunny out. Just in Detroit here, about to turn on to I-75 North. The sign on the left says, no re-entry to USA. Well, fine then. I'm coming back anyway. I don't know when. I guess I'm a little addicted to visiting the States. I just keep coming back. I'm that weird Canadian you just can't get rid of. He just keeps coming back. I come for a visit and then I go home. And then I come back for a visit and then I go home. But I do obey all the laws. Okay, I gotta stay on the right here. Right, this way, this way. I was thinking of spending the night here uh, at this uh, duty-free store here. Just wondering, do any of you guys know if we're allowed to spend the night here? Or is this just like temporary parking? I was going to stay here until my paperwork was ready to cross. Oh well. So this is the, the border. How are you getting to Canada from Detroit? Are you guys excited? Just like that, boom, we all crossed the border. All 62,000 of us. I snuck you all across with me. I am the ultimate coyote. Sneaking Americans into Canada. I think I even snuck some Europeans in there with me, some Australians. Where are you from? We all went to Canada together. You guys didn't even need a passport. I do like politics. I thrive in politics. I love it. Some people have asked me, you know, hey, maybe you should be a politician. You know, I would love to be a politician, but I don't know. You know, it, it takes a lot of work to get up to a position where you can actually make a difference. But you know, if a lot of people don't try, or if nobody tries, nothing gets done, right? So it's not really my cup of tea to actually do it, but I'm, I'm very fascinated in following it. Just in Canada and the United States. The rest of the world, oh, and United Kingdom. 
The rest of the world, I have no idea what's going on. No idea. But I do follow Canada and the United States very closely. I probably know more about the American elections than a lot of Americans do. <laughs> kilometers, then take exit 14 on right to Essex Road 46. Thanks, Mandy. Yeah, because I, I, I don't just eat the, you know, the mainstream media garbage. I do listen to it, all the stations, all the way from MSNBC to Fox in the States, and uh, all the way from CBC to the Sun News Network here in Canada. And then I go online and I listen to the alternative media. There's AMTV, uh, the alternatives, right? You guys know the alternatives. And uh, then I do the research myself, in you know? point seven we all got kilometers, Google. Take exit 14 on right to Essex Road 46. We all got Google. We can all do our own research. And it's something that interests me and I like to be informed. Because you have to arm yourself with knowledge, especially in this day and age where the mainstream media just pumps out a bunch of garbage, whatever sells. They're just trying to make money. I don't blame them, but they're not reporting accurately at all. If you actually do the research yourself, you find out how far off they are and how much they're pandering just to get stories that will sell. You know, see, I don't like that aspect of them. But nowadays we have the internet, we have YouTube, Educate yourself with knowledge. It doesn't matter. You can't just say, oh, you're just a trucker. You don't know. How do you know? There's a lot of people out there that will say, oh, you don't have a college degree, so you're not very intelligent. Well, let me tell you something. Just because you have a college degree does not mean you're intelligent. All a college degree says is you're able to memorize and recite things that other intelligent people have learnt and written down before you. Just because you can explain to me how electricity works doesn't mean you're the one who invented it. Turn right on Provincial Road. It just means that you've memorized how it works from the person who did invent it and are able to recite. So there, I'm not downplaying a college education. College education is very valuable, but it is becoming less and less valuable because there's so many educations and degrees going around Continue out there. 1.5 kilometers, then navigate off road. College degrees are so easy to get nowadays and everybody's so far in college debt that everybody's got a degree now and now those degrees aren't worth as much because there's no jobs for those degrees, right? Learn a trade, be a plumber, be a truck driver, be an electrician. They all make really good money. I make decent money as a truck driver. It doesn't mean I'm less intelligent than someone who has a college education or a big degree, hey, I probably make more money than them. Hey, <laughs> they might not even have a job because there's no jobs for that specific degree. Lots of jobs for truckers. So arm yourself with knowledge. You can educate yourself in this day and age. College professors nowadays, all they are are people who have also memorized what people before them have learned and are able to recite it. You know, it's... It's frustrating when people come up to you and say, oh, well, I have a college degree, so my opinion is superior to yours. No, it's not. Intelligence isn't based off degrees. That was my rant for the day. That was my rant. I had to talk about something. I don't have much footage to show you today. <laughs> we didn't go very far. And like that, here we are. We were there, and now we're here. That's how life goes. I know. Right? Diesel's got all of his toys on the bed. Every single one. You didn't miss one, did you? You got them, I got them all, man. I'm keeping them safe right here with me. Safe from who? From me? What if I go ahead and uh, take this squeaky cow here? See what are you doing? Leave him alone, man. He didn't do anything to you. What if I take your cow? What if I take your cow? You gonna do anything? You gonna fight me for it? Good man. You know better than to fight the alpha. You can't win me, buddy. <laughs> He's so shy. <laughs> He's... All right, Diesel. Oh, let me get in here. Let me get in here. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a bro moment. Get in here. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Don't watch your paws, man. That's not the kind of bro moment I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at his face. What are you doing? Oh my. Just coming in for a hug. Just a, a bro hug. Here we go, Diesel. This is a bro hug. 
sort of. You like it? It's kind of weird, man. You should get off of me right now. <laughs> face. Okay, so uh, I'm actually in the dock where I'm gonna be unloading tomorrow. Right in the dock. So I put a little sign in my window that says, delivering here first thing in the morning, so when they show up in the morning, they'll be like, why is this truck in our dock? If they walk up to my window, they'll be able to read it, and I left my bill of lading in the window there too, so they know what I have. So they'll be like, oh yeah, we were expecting this guy. All right, he'll probably come in when we, when we open up, because they'll be here. Uh, they open up at 7 a.m. I'm guessing they'll probably be here at somewhere like 6.30 or something. Uh, so they'll know at 7 a.m. I'll be ringing their bell at the door there and be like, hey, take your stuff. I don't want it anymore. Brought it all the way here from Illinois. And then I'll go to my next drop, which is in London. I'm only dropping off eight boxes. This is a LTL load again, less than truck load. So I have uh, six or seven drops. Let's see, I have four tomorrow. I have two the next day and one the day after. How much is that? Four, five, six, seven. Seven. I still have to count with my fingers. So this is a long weekend in the life of a truck driver. You know, it's sort of just sit around. Everyone else gets to go out and have fun for their long weekend. We have to uh, just wait for everyone to be done having their fun so that they can come get their stuff off our trailers. I don't want it. I don't, I, don't, I don't have any use for it. You know, I could probably sell it if I wanted to somewhere, but I'd get in trouble for that. They frown on that. So I'm still going through some of those intros. Some of you guys are still sending those intros in to me that you see at the beginning of the vlogs. Uh, thank you very much. If you want to send them in, there's no like deadline from when you have to do it. Just go ahead and send one in. You only have to do one though, okay? Just remember that because there's only one being used per day. And if you send in a bunch, I'm only going to use one. Uh, just because, you know, you got to let other people have a chance to be in there as well. I'm going to be putting together a montage of them right now. You've probably seen it already. So that everybody gets to see their intro on my channel right away without having to wait however many weeks to see the intro that they sent in. I have I have quite a few, but I do appreciate them. You guys can send them in if you want, but remember just one, right? And when I need a second one, I'll ask you guys for another one. When I run out of these intros, I'll ask you guys for another one. If you guys want to, though, I haven't thought of this yet. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I was thinking about doing outros, too. But the reason I did intros is because 100% of my audience will see that then, right? A lot of my audience doesn't make it all the way to the end of the video because they get bored. I don't know, or they just click away. But if you're right at the beginning, everyone's going to get to see your clip, right? I'm just wondering if I should do outro clips, too. What do you guys think of that? Would you guys want to be? Would you guys want to send in clips saying something like, "Thanks for watching today. We'll see you tomorrow, anytime after 4 a.m." Or no, don't even mention the 4 a.m. because that might change in the future. <coughs> Just say something like, uh, "Hey, thanks for watching, TJV. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and we'll see you tomorrow." Something like that. If you guys send me in stuff like that, I'll throw it at the end of my vlogs. Sure. Uh, it's not something that I'm. Uh, pushing hard right now, but maybe I should do that. I've, I've seen your request for that in the comment section. So if you guys think that's a good idea and you want to send in an outro for the end of my vlog too, like these little videos, go ahead and do that. Just make sure you put in the subject line, outro, so that I know which is which. And remember to just send one, okay? Just one. Don't send me five. Some of you guys have been sending me like five or six intros. I'm only going to use one. It's not because I don't like all of yours. It's because everybody needs a chance. Everyone needs a turn. I'm just chilling here in the bunk if you're wondering why I'm at such a weird angle. I get some good light off of this window right here, so works well with the camera. Diesel, what you doing over there? What you doing over there? Come here, man. No, over here. No, you gotta come this way. There you go. Good boy. What were you doing over there? Where were you going? Were you gonna go sit in the front? Am I bothering you taking up the whole bed, man? You bed hog. Yeah, I am a bed hog. It's because I'm the boss. The boss gets the most, right? It's the way it works. You get the whole bed all day, every day while I'm driving. I don't feel so bad. I don't feel bad at all. There you go, boy. Hey, I got your face. I got your face. I got your face. Your face. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. It's mine. It's mine. Hey, hey. It's my face. I grew up myself, man. It's mine. Leave it alone. I got it. Leave it alone, man. Oh, dear. Oh! You're just gonna lay on me, eh? That's how you win fights? <laughs> I got your face. I got your nose, man. It's mine now. It's mine now. I got your nose. 
Ow! Ow! Oh, that's what I get. That's what I get. <laughs> Careful with your feet there on the wall, buddy. Careful. Don't wreck anything. What you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You don't want a belly rub? You want a belly rub? Ah! I didn't want a belly rub, man. No, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> pushing me. He's trying to push me off the bed. That's what he's doing. He's trying to push me off the bed. <laughs> what was that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that, Diesel? Who was that? Who was that? Ow! <laughs> snuck up on you didn't I so I'm gonna go to bed or at least end this vlog so that I can continue working on this stuff thanks for watching thanks for watching every day guys even when I'm having problems with my equipment thanks for your patience this whole week when the vlogs have been like under 10 minutes each each one thank you for sticking by me there and sticking it out and hoping they'll continue getting better because I'm hoping they're gonna continue getting better too hopefully I can get everything working properly again I'll see you tomorrow Anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. Remember, tjv at email.com is the business address. Uh, it's for business inquiries only, and it's for uh, intros and outros. If you guys want to send outros too, even if you sent an intro, go ahead. If you want to close off the vlog, all you got to say is something like this right here. Thanks for watching today, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and we'll see you tomorrow.